Alright, what's going on everybody? Today we are going to be doing a chest workout. So I just woke up, it is 9.30, and we need to hop into some gym clothes. Alright, so now we got the stringer on, we got the shorts on, we're going to put pump cover on, and we are going to start getting ready to go to the gym. Alright, we got the pump cover, now we're going to start getting ready to go to the gym. Alright, so the next thing I would do once I'm ready and dressed, I would probably eat breakfast. So today I'm going to eat some chocolate peanut butter over my notes, which I made last night. Alright, so once I finished the oats, which took me about 10 minutes, I am going to eat this chili granola protein bar because I want to have about 80 carbs before I go work out. And I'm going to go leave for my workout in about 15 minutes. Alright, so after Monday eating breakfast, I will eat, take my two pills, which this is a vitamin C and a multivitamin, and I will brush my teeth, and then I will go make my pre and head out. Okay, so before I leave, I make my pre, which I've been using the superhuman burn on my cut from Alpha Lion. I've been using this uh, because there's a thermogenic in it, so I'm also a really big caffeine guy. I have about 375 milligrams of caffeine. I have to take those two things you see on screen now, so the two gaming candies. I take two of each of those, and then I head out and go to the gym. All right, so I just got to the gym. I obviously drank my pre on the way here, jammed to some music as you guys saw. And yeah, we're gonna go hit some incline bench and kill our chest today. All right, so the first thing I do when I get in the gym is obviously stretch, and then I do some warm up sets. This is my first working set that I recorded. So it was 135, trying to do about five reps here, and uh, you guys can see how that looks. First set was a little too light for me, so I went up uh, 20 pounds here, went to 155. Tried to do a 5x5 five five today, so I'll show you guys what I was going for um, right here. And uh, yeah, so I ended up hitting all the numbers I wanted to hit, but this is 155 for 5. This is my heavy, first heavy working set, so I put the wrist wraps on, asked somebody in the gym to spot me, and this was actually a PR for me on this cut, I have not attempted this yet. I just want to say, don't ever be afraid to ask somebody in the gym to spot you, this guy was fine, and then I had somebody else spot me from my other sets. This is again an attempt at a PR, this is 170 for 5 reps is my attempt here. He, uh, he gave me a lift off, which... Uh, always is nice, but he also touched the bar a little too early as you see on the fourth rep, so I won't end up going for it twice. And then again, 170 for 5, he gave me a lift off. Um, he did not touch it earlier this time, so it felt great. And this is a PR, so just because I'm cutting does not mean I can't hit PRs. Okay, so after that, I'm already feeling a little fried, but next thing we have is some dumbbell chest press. So my goal here was 60 for 12, and I do end up hitting it, but it felt very heavy, so I knew the next two sets were going to be grinds. So as you guys saw, the absolute struggle on that last rep. So my goal here was 65 for 10, and I ended up getting 65 for 9, but the struggle is insane. My RP, my RP was 10 on all these sets, and it really shouldn't have been. I should have been going for like an RP of 8, but for whatever reason, it felt really heavy today, so I almost ended up going to failure on every set. So I decided to grab 65s again because I could not get 10 reps and I was going to try to get 10 reps on this set. And I ended up getting 7. So after that, 
after knocking 65 for the reps I wanted to twice in a row, I decided, hey, let me grab the 70s and try to hit them for 8. I only hit them for 6, but it actually is beneficial because I have not hit 70s in a really long time. After only getting 70 for 6 reps, I decided, alright, I'm gonna stop ego lifting, go down 55, and just hopefully get 15 reps with some good form. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know how we go, baby, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, just finish up, baby, turn it up, turn it up, one more time, you know how we go, baby, turn it up. Okay, so at this point, every part of my chest is absolutely fried, but we end the chest part of this workout off with some standing cable flies, so we're going to put what I was going for up on the screen right now, and uh, yeah, I ended up putting my foot back because I was off balance for a while, and I feel like it just made my form a little bit better. Alright, so on the second set of chest flies here, we're going for 33 pounds on the dual cable cross machine, which is insanely heavy for no reason for 12 reps. Alright, so at this point in the workout, I decided I have some confidence. I'm going to take my pump cover off. So I take the pump cover off, flex a little bit, and then we try to hit 37 for 10 reps. That stuff felt abnormally heavy, so I decided to keep the weight at 37 and go for another 10 reps, and I really only ended up getting 8. For the last set, I decided I'm going to go for 40 pounds, go for 8 reps, and I ended up getting 7. Hey, hey, hey. All the voices in my head getting louder, they told me not to tell you, but they're itching for the power. Alright, so this is about the midpoint of my workout where I like to eat three chocolate rice cakes because I need some carbs to replenish. I just feel like it gives me more energy every since I started doing this and I feel like it's really beneficial. Alright, so now that the rice cakes are done and consumed, I move on to some shoulder press. I don't know why these clips look a little distorted, but let's ignore that. Uh, the goal for the first set was 40 for 12 and I'm getting 40 for 15 and I'll put the rest of the goals in right now. I keep going back to back to you. For the next set, I grab the 45s, and my goal here is 12 reps. <laughs> for the next set, I grab the 50s, and I decide, all right, it's time for some wrist wraps again. I do not want to break my wrists on shoulder press, so for the 50s, I put on my wrist wraps. I felt a good bit earlier with the 50s last set, so I ended up grabbing the 50s again for this set. After failing shoulder press for about 7 reps, we then move on to tricep dips. I'll put my goals on the screen right now. My goal for the first set was 12. So that first set was easier than normal, but it was hard enough that I didn't want to add weight, so I just did body weight again. My goal for 12 reps. So I couldn't hit 12 reps in the last set, I hit 11, so my goal here is 10. So I again didn't hit the number I wanted to hit, so the goal here was 10 reps. Alright, so now we're going to move on to cable ladder raises on the same dual machine, which is insanely heavy for no reason. 
my goals to reset are on the screen now. I moved the machine so it was at a better angle for me, and now my goal was another 15 reps with 12 and a half pounds. So I go as little up in weight in here as I can, and it's only two and a half pounds, and I go for 10 reps, but I only get eight. So in my personal opinion, I don't think going heavy on ladder races is too necessary, so I end up staying at the exact same weight and going for more reps. Alright, so now we're jumping to the first isolated tricep exercise, which would be the overhead cable tricep extension. I went a little light and went for 15 reps here just to feel the machine out. All the goes for each of my sets are on the screen right now. So for this next set, I increased it by 5 pounds instead of 2.5 pounds because it felt pretty light in the first set. And it still print pretty well, I got 12 reps. So at this point I finished my 64 ounce water bottle, which I forgot to show on camera, and I start drinking my Gator at zero, because I tend to cramp up if I don't. That last rep in the last set was very hard, so I only increased by 2.5 pounds here, and went for 10 reps. So my charges were absolutely blasted by now, but I decided to increase the weight again by 2.5 pounds and go for 8 reps. Alright, so to absolutely fry the shoulders and work the rear delts, I do an X scissor cross, and my goals for each of my sets were up on the screen right now. So I've never done these on this machine before, so I didn't know how much to open weight, but I went up by 2.5 pounds and went for 12 reps again. So I decided to go up another 2.5 pounds on each side, thinking it would be very easy with a goal of 10 reps, and I end up only getting 7. Alright, so moving on to the last strength exercise is tricep push downs with a rope. Again, doing it on the same dual cross machine, which is extremely heavy. The goals for each of my sets are on the screen now. So I got 15 reps of the first set, so I increased the weight, and I get 13 reps of this set. So I increase the weight again with a goal of 12 reps, and I do end up getting it. That last set felt pretty light, so I increased the weight by 5 pounds, and I do a little trick here at the end of the set that you guys will see to get an extra few reps. Alright, and to an end the day, I do hit a set of abs, which is uh, 60 heel flutters and 30 seconds of flutters as a superset. I'll put how many I do on screen right now. I only recorded one, but just know they burn. Can you feel like, can you feel like the rain? This is a summary of the little workout. It took me exactly two hours, 44 sets, 561 reps. Lifted 58.9 thousand pounds, and my average weight was 105.1. So now comes everyone's favorite part of the workout, which would be posing and showing off the pump. Now, I'm going to state this right now. I am an amateur. I do not pose. I don't know how to pose. I'd love to learn how to pose. If you guys have any suggestions for me, please leave them in the comments. I do want to compete, and tell me how far you guys think I am off. Alright, so that's the workout, then I would go in the sauna for about 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how long I had and how I felt. This is what my Apple Watch said in my workout, how much I burned.
So I tried to get a really cool time lapse, but my phone decided to overheat, as you can see here in the middle, but I ended up finishing off. It's just cut up a little weird. Sweet potatoes, chicken, and some garlic asparagus. So I'm gonna heat that up in the microwave for about two minutes. And then I've been going to go to for about 15. Alright, so I just did that in a while pretty easily as you can see. And I'm also gonna eat a cookies and cream donut. Pretty good, so I hope it tastes good. So I'll give you a live review. Okay, I'm gonna put the macros for this meal on the screen right here. And uh, if you want the recipe for these, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll give it to you. All right, so I'm off to go to my advisor meeting. Then I have a test after that, and I will check in with you guys once I get back. All right, so I got back from my advisor meeting and my test about an hour ago. I've been editing this video like crazy, putting a lot of work into it. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys want me to do more of them. But basically I'm gonna wait about an hour until about 7 p.m. before I eat dinner and then I have a flag football game to go to. So I probably will not be eating much after that. All right, so for dinner, before I go to football, I'm gonna be eating my meal prep, which I made in my first video here. So let's see what it looks like. It's so, so, so good. Topped with some sriracha and some more chili flakes. Just microwave for about two minutes. Insane. They taste so good. And I drink these. Um, people call me really weird for this, but I don't like water. And those have zero calories. And they give me the idea of soda, and I'm not a fan of diet soda. So I drink those, there's nothing in them. It's sort of just sparkling water and some natural flavor. Yeah, I'm gonna munch this meal, and then I'm gonna head off to football, and I'll check in with you guys after football. All right, so I've probably made the bad decision of eating my last meal before I go play football, but my last meal is going to be a cookies and cream quest bar microwave for 20 seconds covered with sugar-free Hershey syrup. And yeah, I'm gonna put the macros for this on the screen and then my whole entire day right here. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my day of eating, and I'll check back in with you guys after football. All right, so I just got out the shower. We are going to go drink my creatine and glutamine, and then I will see you guys while I'm mixing that up. All right, so I take creatine HMB from Transparent Labs. It's just five grams of creatine and some HMB, and I take glutamine uh, with DCAAs. So they're just for recovery. Creatine is honestly the best supplement in the world. You should definitely be taking creatine no matter what. And BCAs and glutamine are kind of unnecessary, but I feel like it helps my recovery, so I tend to take them. Alright, so it's way beyond when I normally go to sleep, but I had to wash my sheets, and I decided to do that at very late. So, um, before I go to bed, I take ashwagandha. I only take half a serving, so I take one capsule, which is uh, 500 milligrams. And I also take two Nightburn, which came with the stack that I'm running for Alpha Line right now which is this, basically just some melatonin, a little bit of ashwagandha as well, and then mitoburn, which is the same as what's in the pills. So I take that, and then I head to bed. So yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't you, leave a like. Uh, tell me guys if you want more of this type of content. Uh, it takes a lot of editing, but I do really enjoy doing it. This is what I want to track and do and everything. So yeah, um, it's been a chest day. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to know what I weigh, this is what I weighed currently that morning.